Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the Surface Trim Tool. Let's pick up where we left off in our previous lesson. By the way, you can open the Lesson 3 Part document in your Exercise folder. Let's begin by activating the Trim Surface Tool. The first control area is for Trim Type. Let's start with the Mutual Trim Type. This trimming method lets me select both surfaces as trimming surfaces. SolidWorks will then knit the remaining surfaces into one surface. In other words, SolidWorks will merge these two surfaces into one surface body. Moving down the Property Manager, we're able to keep selections or remove selections. Let's opt to keep our selections for now, and let's make our selections in the graphic area, and click OK. And as a result, we've got one surface body. Now I want to check how the other trim method works, the standard trim method. Let's create a new document. OK. And let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I'm going to use the spline tool again. Right click and select to end my spline. And let's go to the Customize dialog window. I want to bring in the fully defined sketch tool. Go to the Commands tab, select Dimensions Relations. Here's the fully defined sketch tool. Let's drag it up to the ribbon. Click OK and activate the fully defined sketch tool. Entities to fully define. We can define all entities in the sketch or we can define selected entities. I've just checked the Relations box to activate this section. Click those I want to apply. Same thing for dimensions. Here we can specify vertical and horizontal dimension schemes. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the default options. Exit the sketch. Surfaces tab, extruded surface command. I'm going to create a 60 millimeter mid-plane extrusion. Click OK to accept. Now let's create a second sketch on the top plane. Normal 2 view. Let's activate the line tool and create a line. Tangent arc now. Right click select to close the tool. We exit the sketch. Let's take an isometric view. Activate the extruded surface command. Let's create another mid plane extrusion. 60 millimeters, click OK. Now we've got two surfaces that intersect. Once again, let's use the trim surfaces tool. And let's try the standard trim type. As you can see in our design tree, there are currently two surface bodies. SolidWorks generates a preview of our trim. Under Surface Split Options, Natural is selected. Currently, the cutting line extends along the trimming surface. The Linear Split option will give us a linear trim to the closest edge. Let's use Split All, and now we've got more split options. Let's try Natural. Under Selections to Keep, we'll select here and click OK. Now because we used the standard trimming method, we ended up with two surface bodies. Let's undo that and reactivate the Trim Surface tool. Let's try the same operation using the Mutual Trim type. Trimming Surfaces and Selections to Keep. Let's check Split All. Selections to keep, I'll keep this one and this one. And click OK. As a result, we've got a single surface body. This concludes our lesson about the Surface Trim Tool. And we'll be using this tool frequently during this course. You'll have plenty of opportunity for practice.